Here we go. All right, my name is Natalie Havens. I'm a ninth grade counselor for Alpha L, L to Z. And um, welcome to our first uh, coffee talk of the year. We have a couple of school counselors on here, including our lead counselor, Mrs. Loya Kona, and our other ninth grade counselor, Mrs. Bustamante. She will be um, she will be presenting today. We'll get started in just a sec. I'm looking on here. We also have Miss Garney. She's one of our counselors for 10th through 12th graders um, at the end of the alphabet. And um, I think that's it. We've got um, a couple other counselors that might pop in and on. So if you do have any questions, feel free to type them in the chat or like I said, we'll get them at the end if they're not answered right away. We're gonna go ahead and get started. If you hear little beeps, it's because I'm just admitting people in. So try to ignore those. But we'll go ahead and get started with our um, Coffee Talk 101. Take it away, Mrs. Bustamante. Thank you. Okay, hi everybody and welcome to our first Coffee Talk. Um, I'm gonna go over these slides and like Ms. Haven said, if you have any questions, just feel free to type them in the chat and we will get to those during the presentation and we will also answer questions afterwards. Um, so here's just a list of all our counselors and we also have Dr. Allen, one of the assistant principals and um, Ms. Adelstein, who is the academy coordinator. We are split up by last names so you can find your counselor on there. Um, so I won't read them all to you, but there they are. So what does our typical day look like here at Spanish River? So your student will either follow the blue schedule or silver depending on their fifth period. So they'll either, either have first lunch or second lunch, but that's pretty much what our daily schedule looks like. Oh, and there's no entry from 12 to 1230 because there's no one at the gate. So just a heads up if you're trying to pick up early. Okay, so graduation requirements, um, we will send this out too. So don't feel like you have to be jotting all of this down real quick. Um, so for English, you need, they need four credits. So that's every year. Uh, math as well, which this will include algebra one and geometry. Um, a minimum of a three must be earned in grades 12, uh, nine through 12. So we'll kind of go over that too. Um, science, they need three credits, uh, which include biology and a physical science. Uh, social studies, three credits, world history, US history, um, half economics, and then the other half government. So we'll, they'll also need a fine arts or performing arts credit, a PE credit, and then eight electives. And then one online course is required. Okay, um, so testing has kind, is kind of changing this year, but for 11th and 12th grade, they still need to pass the reading FSA. A passing it, score is a three or higher. Um, these ELA retakes are on September 20 through the 22nd. So current 10th and 9th graders must pass the new test, the PM test. Um, there are three PM tests that will be given out throughout the year. And our first one was actually yesterday. Um, we're waiting on the, the, for clarification on exactly the new testing requirements from the Department of Education. So it's still kind of up in the air. Everything's very new still. Um, so the graduation requirement for math, um, they need to pass the algebra EOC, the end of course exam, which is given at the end of the year, um, a level three or higher is passing. And we have retakes available too. For ninth and 10th grade is September 12 and 13, 11 and 12th grade is September 14 and 15. And there are four courses that have EOCs, four EOC courses. Um, what the EOC is calculated at the end of the course when after they take it, and it's 30% of their final grade. So pretty important test. Um, and these courses are Algebra 1, Geometry, Biology, and US History, EOC classes. Uh, community service. So they could have, uh, ninth graders could have started this in the summer. Um, they need 20 hours of community service in order to graduate and they can and they need to be filled out on our forms. These forms can be found online and we also have them available in the blue and silver suites. Um, it's on our website, this form. Um, keep in mind that most scholarships, including our Florida Bright Futures, require 75 hours or more. 
but 20 hours is the requirement for just graduation. But if we're thinking college and scholarships, they're going to want more. Um, like I said, they could have started this, ninth graders could have started in the summer. And they have to turn them into Ms. Gorin, one of our assistant principals. Her email address is on the form as well. Um, so in order to graduate, they need a 2.0 um, GPA in order to graduate. But again, many colleges will be looking for a 3.0 or higher. What is a GPA? It's a grade point average. So it's just converting the letter grade into a numerical scale. Um, it is one of the most important factors in the college admissions process, as many of us know. Um, so there are two different. So there's GPA and HPA. G, uh, GPA is unweighted, so it's like your regular classes. Um, and HPA is weighted, so that's your honors, ACE, and AP classes. So here's kind of the numerical scale for the GPA and the HPA. You see the regular classes are on a 4.0 scale, honors is a 4.5 scale, and then AP and A's and your dual enrollment courses are a 6.0 scale. Uh, Bright Futures and universities review the HPA, so the weighted. Um, so Bright Futures is our scholarship here in Florida. Um, there are two different award levels, depending on GPA and test scores. So there's the Florida Academic Scholars and the Florida Medallion Scholars. Um, and here on this chart, you can see the requirements. So for the Florida Academic Scholars, they need a 3.5. And then the test scores are there, ACT, SAT, 29, 13, 30. And they need 100 hours, at least 100 hours of community service. Uh, for the Florida Medallion, it's a 3.0, ACT 25, SAT 1210, and at least 75 community service hours. And we included the link there so you can look for more information and, and kind of dive deeper into Florida, uh, the Bright Futures scholarship. Um, another way to get Bright Futures is with the ACE diploma. So they need to complete a minimum of 14 ACE credits in order to get the ACE diploma, this includes, they get one credit for the completing the course and one point, one credit for each pass test. Um, so a requirement for the ACE diploma is in 10th grade, they have to take the ACE Global Perspectives and Research class. And then you can see the different groups here, which is also on our website, but um, for math, there's four different groups that they'll need credits in as well. Um, for the bright, if they get their ACE diploma, the good thing is that the ACT and SAT score is kind of not as important if they are getting the bright features on their own. Okay, so how can you help, especially this is especially for, you know, ninth grade uh, parents that are new to high school, how can you help them be successful here? Um, get them to school by 1215 every day. Some teachers actually offer uh, morning help, extra help. So if they need extra help, they can get here even earlier. Um, making sure they have a quiet and media free. I know that's kind of hard with them, but maybe putting their phone away for a little bit. Um, comfortable place to study somewhere that's consistent. Um, I always tell them maybe not in bed because you don't want to like mix up your sleep with your study area. Um, encourage them to go to tutoring. We, our National Honor Society offers free tutoring during lunch. We are hoping it starts in October. They haven't started yet, but um, just make sure they're listening to the morning announcements and it'll give them more information on there. Um, make sure that you have your own login. Parents can have their own login to SIS and check your uh, students' grades. Encourage them to join a club. We just had Club Rush on August 31st. All our clubs are set up. It was super cool. And, you know, just encourage them to try to find something that they're interested in to get involved. Um, and making sure that they're here every day. Attendance is super important. Of course, if they're not here, they're missing content and falling behind. So as many as many days as they can be here, be here. It's very important. And also if they're absent, making sure that they're emailing their teachers and communicating that and making sure that they stay on top of the work that they missed. 
So some tips from our teachers. Um, it's very important that students complete all their assignments and are studying every night, even if they don't have a test coming up or a test the next day, they should still be reviewing their notes, what they learned in school, just so it stays fresh in their head. Um, work with your student on how to cope with stress. I know especially freshmen coming into high school can be overwhelming and a little bit scary, um, but learning how to deal with that and how to manage their time and their expectations is helpful. Um, checking the, their grades on a daily basis staying on top of what they're doing and not doing in class um, and working with them on daily healthy habits. Um, I know a lot of kids that tell me they go to bed at like 2 a.m. and then have to wake up at like 5.30. It just isn't enough sleep. So um, just making sure that they're kind of trying to stay, you know, good with their food, their exercise, their sleep is important. Okay, so after this, um, presentation, we're going to email you a short survey and it really helps us get feedback and, you know, figure out what, how, what we can do differently next year or the next coffee talk. Um, so if you can take a minute to fill this out, it'll really be helpful for us. And our next coffee with the counselors is on October 7th, 8 AM. And we'll email you out the links again when the time gets closer. Awesome. Thank you, Mrs. Bustamante. Um, there are a couple questions in the chat bar. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the recording now. So if you want to raise your hand, you can chat. But um, I'll go ahead and stop.